One of the best aspects of working with a tethered workflow is the ability to use live view. I use it quite often, particularly if I have a food stylist on set or if my camera is shooting straight down like what we've set up for you here. So we're gonna to put together a little set for you right now just so you can see what it's like to use Live View and I can show you some of the finer points. I'm gonna use grids, I'm gonna use overlays which are really gonna help you compose and deliver the exact image that your client needs. Let me show you how this works. The way I've got these plates set up, I kinda of need some grids and some reference in order to really know where I'm going. So let's take a look at this. I first wanna use the overlay feature and I'm just gonna show you how that works really quickly. I'm gonna grab a template and I'm going to just simply drop it right in on top and you can see where it's come in here. I've got the ability to actually change the opacity so I can make it lighter or darker depending on how I want it to sit. Now that I have this overlay loaded, it's actually going to show up in live view. So I can really get a sense of what it is that I need to do for the client and the adjustments I need to make in order to fill this frame properly. Now again, I've got the ability to go ahead and capture right through Live View. So let's go ahead and add the grid. So the grid function is particularly nice because I can also move over and I can make some changes to it. I want to add some additional lines just so I know what's going on. So I'm just selecting both my long and my short edge and I'm just hitting the up arrows. Now I'm going to go back into Live View. That feels pretty good. You can check focus either in manual or autofocus mode. And when your camera's really high, autofocus is really nice. Let me show you how that works. And we're quickly going to go into live view. We're going to double click again. We can see that's pretty far out. So I'm just going to use the buttons here. When your camera's up high, there's no way to safely reach it. This feature is incredibly handy. The last trick I want to show you is the ability to quickly change the orientation of your camera. Now you can do this very easily. If I scroll down to next camera settings, I've got the ability to change my orientation very quickly and easily, just dragging. And that allows me to shoot the next picture according to that orientation I've selected. And that's a really quick look at Live View. Again, it's totally indispensable for the way that I shoot. I hope you find it to be the same.